All right, bitches, we are back in action. Who's doing recap? Woo! Who's doing recap? Uh, somebody, somebody rolled. Uh, Hear me. <laughs> How about you give us a recap? One's the highest number, though, right? Yeah. Of course. Out of one. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Do I get inspiration for rolling one for recap? Sure, I'll give it to you. Yeah, boy. Especially for missing two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's been it's been a been a hot. It's been minute. a while. Uh, let me just mark that down. Hello, inspiration. Okay. All right. So, if I am recalling correctly, uh, we started last session uh, at the beginning of the Hydra fight, and we mopped the floor with that little bitch. <laughs> um, and then we. Made it to the next room where there was like a golem esque uh, creature that had been living there and was like, ooh, my precious Neronius, my precious. And uh, we took a little resty poo there, a short rest, and um, healed up a little bit. Uh, went through the portal to a large open. Um, uh, Landmass surrounded by, you know, ch boiling, chumbling venom and acid and poison, and uh, fought a, another titan type creature. And uh, he hit pretty hard, but we managed to get through it without anybody dying. And yeah. Jesse is an asshole and wouldn't let me suck up his bones to make Barry even more powerful. Um, <laughs> and. And yeah, and that's where we sort of left off. We were uh, making our way, making our way to the uh, next portal to see what lies beyond. What lies beyond. All right. And as you guys get to the great beyond, uh, I should have had this prepared. Scroll, 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 scroll. We're professional here, guys, just so any listeners. This clinically white room has four stone gray pillars positioned around a clear glass column. Each pillar is adorned with a number of black blue sapphires. Each gem is embedded in a channel groove that curves around the pillar. The central glass column forms a prism uh, embedded into, into it at the eight main compass points in a straight line from top to bottom are uh, eight gemstones that you've interacted with uh, back in the beginning parts of this dungeon. And let me copy and paste you. Shoop. Zoop. Zoop. Well, there we go. Is this another puzzle? Because the last one made me feel real dumb. It's okay. It made I think all of us feel a little dumb. You're not alone. <laughs> you too can struggle with elementary grade puzzles just like us. <laughs> I would say it's more like middle school. Eh. And are these well, visible? I appreciate that. <laughs> are these visible portals on the edge or? Indeed they are. So hold on, let me get to where you're supposed to be. So uh right here is you came through the south is what I'm trying to depict here. You came, all of you came through the south. Um, and there are only four portals. The one you came through, uh, this one, that one, and that one. And then the pillars as described. If you would like me to re-describe it, I'm more than able to. You also hear, Sporlina is the one who hears this, uh, you can hear whispers, and it says, Your songs of anguish will be as hymns to my triumph. songs of anguish um i will reiterate this to my friends will you type that out jess indeed Thanks. songs of anguish does that have any Isn't like a scream poetical or historical yeah in for uh, like connection or quotation absolutely go ahead and make a history check dc20 can we all make one? Absolutely. Anything behind the uh, door, I usually let everyone. I, I, my Beyond 20 isn't working. I'll have to update it real quick, but I rolled a 26. 
All right. With the 26, you would know that this is actually a famous speech from Melora talking down to the uh, other houses. Uh, in uh, essence, like how they give their history sometimes is through songs and uh, talking down to the other houses in such a way. How is a spider that good at history? Because she's just it's a heritage good at spider. History. It's a heritage. That's true. That is very true. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you would know it's a speech from Melora from. Got it. One of her uh, uh, spider Lena and Alora start discussing this. I am assuming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you could speak spider. New D and D uh, yeah, rules say that she can speak uh, regularly in spider form. Uh, if yeah. we want to go by that. I also, the heritage spider can also speak abyssal, infernal, elvish, and undercommon. And since Sporlina knows undercommon, I feel like that would be like a shared yeah, thing. Yeah, and that I she know undercommon did. too. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. So really quick, the four pillars are just white marble, but the center pillar has the gems in it. Uh. Reading. 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 Each pillar. Each pillar is adorned with a number of black blue sapphires. Each gem is embedded in a channel groove that curves around the pillar. Uh, the central glass column forms a prism embedded into the eight main compass points are eight different gemstones. Which there were a number of houses that were supplicated before Melora, I believe in the other rooms. Right, the ones that she drove down. Yeah, so I would assume maybe the four pillars have something to do with that. Do the black and the blue gems connect? This is, if the fucking dude who wrote this is going to be in the fucking thing, he's like, oh, they just have to press the black and blue gems. Ha, 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 ha. Um, so, oh, really quick. So, there were... If I, you're listening, he means that in like a you're smarter than we are way not in a mean way definitely not like i want to punch you in the heart way um <laughs> uh punch him in the hot uh so my question is the of the six or seven rooms that were in the original room that we were in what gemstones matched with what house or like what houses sure ready the House of Nata Naj had the opals. The House Edot, or Edit, uh, had the Yatirocytes. The House Mel Melu had the Galaxites. House Nephets had the Bloodstones. House Nylorak had the Violaine, and House Gullion had the uh, Indicolites. Indicolites. And Sorry, I really, believe... really. After Nephets, what was it? Valorak? Uh, Nylorak, with an N. And they had the Violains. House Gullion had the uh, Indicolites. And in the arrival room that is kind of dedicated to drow in general, had rubies. And just double checking. Yeah, the mosaic chamber had nothing, but you put the gems into the mosaic chamber. Right. So there, and you just... Eight main compass points in a straight line from top to bottom. Are they in rainbow order? <laughs> Just run uh, your hand down them. They they are. They actually are in in, rain, in rainbow order. Which were the ones that were subjugated, put down, yada yada, by Melora? Uh, the houses that I just mentioned. So they were the, all. Yeah, the houses right. that I just mentioned. So, Natanaj, House Edot, House Melu, House Nephets, Nephets, House Nylorak, and did I miss one? Yeah, those are the five houses yeah. that were 
in so essence, like sacrilege. Five subjugated houses, uh, one for Golian, one for Drow, but that still leaves one gemstone that's not that we haven't played with yet. So I'm what's here. what's the eighth gemstone? As you look at it, it looks to be a conglomerate of all of the colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Ooh, like a moonstone. It's got some rainbow flashes. Oh, it's like the activation button. <laughs> Is it all rainbow the color colors. all seven colors together or all five colors of the subjugated houses? Minus Golian and, and Drow and Jun. All of them. All right, everybody step you back. You can't be a dictator without a group of people to dictate. <laughs> uh, everybody be step back. To I'll... Yourself. Okay. Let me read this thing real quick here. Uh, your songs of anguish will be hymns to my triumph. Um. Yeah, I guess. Can I try pressing the gems that are the five subjugated houses? Just those five? Just those five? All right. As you run your hands across the uh, five gems, you feel a strong pulse of energy come out of the special one of all colors. And yeah, you do. Two. As you run your fingers through it, I'm going to need a dexterity saving throw as a prismatic spray sh oh, straight, shoots straight out of that particular one. A... Be not afraid. It's just light. Right? Uh, it's a seven. I'm oh, sorry. 17. 17. DC is a 20. And you will take 30 points of acid damage. <laughs> Bless you. As it Thank comes you, out. Sorry. And then, really quick, before you do anything else, you guys watch as you see movement from the actual uh, columns themselves. Do that, bro. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Must we? You guys watch really? as, you can, as you can see, the columns begin to move. And the tendrils unwrap from the columns as you see what look to be enormous roper type beings, but much more powerful than ropers. Rat row. Um, future reference. Forlina would like to find a Great Dane so she can turn into the group Scooby Doo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely the shaggy of the group. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oof. How did they get so low? Oh my god, okay. they got a three. Well, click on your tokens and roll because the, the columnas is are going anybody to get else's prize. Beyond 20 is working. Uh, I know other people uh, the other day had problems with it in my other group. Yeah. My I, I created my page I in roll 20 because I don't like beyond D&D so yeah mine's not having a great time seconds one two I'm just gonna be the catalyst to see if we can reinstall it and that fix it While that's going, the Columna are going to make their attacks. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, my. The good like news hurting. is it's only a, D, a plus 10 to hit. That's you. That's what you sound like. All right. First one's going to go after Elora. They have a surprise round. So 14, 19, 12, and 22. Any of those hit? Uh, sorry. Uh, need two AC right now, I think. All right, sorry, you have no. been. 
Uh, 21. Hey. All right. You are grappled, but you are not reeled in. Uh, another one is going to reach out at the heritage spider. Yeah, fair. Uh, 14, 15, natural one, and 20. The 20 will hit. All right. You are grappled, but you are not bitten. Although I'm actually you're close immune enough. to grapple. I'm kidding. You know what? It's not going to grapple you. It's just going to bite you outright. Uh, <gasps> 68 plus 6. Rude. Because you're right there. 25 points of damage. Any. What is it? Piercing or something? It is piercing. Okay. And then this one is going to... It sees Cinnamoira. It's going to go after Cinna. He's a plus 10. Uh, 22, 24, 20, and 22. Oh, God! <laughs> We're not our bar! Stumble, Take our bar to love to <laughs> you, my friends. So, first attack grapples you. Second attack reels you in. Third attack is going to uh, bite you. And that's 68 plus 6. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, Sporlina, that is t 31, not 25. So, plus 6 to add to that. And then that's 38 to you, Cinemoira. Great. And then another 38. Total of 76. And next one's going to be Barry the Bone Golem. Ow. Uh, 22, 21, 29, and 24. Those are all going to hit. Uh, first attack grapples, second attack reels him in, third attack is going to be uh, damage, bite, and damage, bite. And that's going to uh, be... Magical? Yep. Uh, yes, this is all magical. All right, We're in we a go. plane of venom. They're, they're ropers. <laughs> they're creatures. <laughs> Do ropers have magical attacks by itself? These are not ropers, these are columnas. Yeah, he's always a raid. <laughs> Uh, so that's going to be 41 plus 31. All right. And he is grappled as well. All right. Uh, go ahead and are we loading people into the turn? We I'm can't. Trying. You have to give us You have to give us uh, access to each turn order because we are beyond 20s now. All right. Wait, I, I told it to update and then it just it started. Then I closed the entire browser and then I reopened it and it just started working again. Okay, let me image out the screen. Cinna natural twenty. What the hell is what is the solution? <laughs> All right, Cinna. Uh, while we wait for Elora, I doubt she's gonna beat a twenty-five. Cinna. Yeah. It is your turn. Turn. What are you doing? Um, I, <laughs> as bogus as it sounds, I'm um. Um, sorry, I was trying, I didn't really prepare anything. I was trying to get this thing going. It's okay. Um. Okay. Start witch bolting these fuckers. I am going to cast, fuck it, I'm casting witch bolt. All right, Kolna has. Is, do you have advantage on anything? I think you have disadvantage because you're poisoned. Because I see green, and I think that usually means poisoned. Oh, I didn't mean to do that at six level, but oh well. Uh, you are still concentrating on Witch Bolt. You missed the first one, but as long as you maintain concentration, you can still attack at the next round with Witch Bolt. Okay, right? cool. So um, you, you don't waste a six me... level spell for nothing. Okay, let me just see something quick. I am going to give inspiration to uh, Barry. Barry. Go get him, <laughs> champ. All right. Mom's got this. And then I'm going to go and get a drink. All right, it's Kurt. Because I need it. And... Hang on. I was reloading in. Um, I'm going to run up to this bad boy. And make one attack on him. That's plus 13. Uh, 23 will hit. Cool. That, and then one, two. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> oh, Poor guy. God. 
then third. Just tell me the end number. 11. Minus 11. All right, cool. Anything else? That's it. All right. <laughs> hey, Lore. Uh, I'm actually next. Sorry. My, oh, I, yep, I still not, not work in for me. Um, all right. Uh, I am grappled, right? Uh, indeed, by this one right here. Indeed. Okay. All right. Well, I suppose I will bonus action knight's move to teleport out of the grapple. Ooh. And Sin is in the most trouble right now, so I'm going to flank this fucker here. And we're just going to swing away, Jack. And don't you come back no more. No, no, no. Uh, first attack is 30 to hit. Oh, that hits. Second attack. Oh, this is so annoying. Uh, 20 to hit. 20 will hit. All right. I will do two of these as well. Uh, okay, so 23, so 46, and then 50, so 74 damage to it. Ah, damn. And then I get to regain 23 hits. Nice. All right. Uh, Elora, just... I see you have a blue and a green bar. Could you remind me what those are? I have no idea what 65 of 25 is. Uh, yeah, I, honestly, temporary hit points? I don't know. Maybe. That's Definitely. a lot of temporary. That's a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what it's supposed to be. Um, it's a lot of temporary hit points, but it's temporary. <laughs> uh, so, da, 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 then I'll just have Barry go because I don't want to have to roll for him again. Uh <laughs> He is grappled, huh? Okay. All right. Well, we're just going to go ahead and try and grapple right on back. 23 against your... 23 will hit? No, it's a grapple attack. Uh, grapple. Ah. Uh, this is a plus strength, not a strength save. Plus six. All right. He Now he's grappled, too. I'm not... <laughs> I not grappled by you. You Ooh. grapple by me. Uh, until the grapple ends, the target is restrained and has disadvantage on strength checks and strength saving throws. Make one more strength check just in case. I rolled a 16, but you still have to do a 16. That's a 12. Okay, we'll do a second one. All right. Uh, 16. So 16 is a lower. Fail. Beautiful. All right, that's two. Here's three. Going to do a rip apart for 46 damage. Minus 46. And then he'll do a slam attack on it. Uh, that's a natural one to hit. So that's misses. And then he's going to look at the one holding uh, Kurtz and gaze at it. Wisdom save if, if it can be paralyzed. Uh, there shouldn't be one holding me. Unless I miss something. Oh, you're just standing next to it? Yes. Then the one holding the uh, our spider frame. Uh, not holding her either. Um, okay, then the one on that. Nope. He's just going to do the one that he's holding that. Okay. Wisdom save? Yep. Okay. Well, 19 Ooh, yeah. plus a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. And that's his one. <laughs> All right. Uh, Elora, the stream just needs to go back up. Oh, thank you for reminding me. Uh, Curtsy Boy. Uh, gonna whack him again. Also figured out a solution for Firefox. Okay. Um, it's just in the IP. Um, where it says slash editor slash and then all the numbers. If you get rid of everything after the slash after editor, uh, then enter, it should work. I don't know what you're talking about. No. Uh... Uh, I looked it after your turn. You can type it out or something. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, that's my turn. All right. So, all that added up together, thirty-eight. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Five. I know how to do math. All right, <laughs> Taylor. All right. Um, we're sticking with the double fire bolt on the one Kurtz is next to. Uh, that was a uh, twelve and a twenty-two, respectively. All right. 
12 and a 22. All right, and the 22 will hit. 19, minus 19, beautiful. Anything else? That is it. All right, and then Heritage Spider, Sporlina. Okay, I'm not grappled, so I can move. Um. But I don't really want to take an attack of opportunity. Um. Frick. Frick. <laughs> um, okay. We're going to go ahead and... We're going to... We're going to go ahead and risk the attack of opportunity. Plus 10 to hit. 22. Nope, that was me. What? Oh, sorry. sorry. I got a 22. Uh, yes, 22 hit. All right. Plus 6. Uh, 39. I will take it, and I will skitter away very quickly. Skitter, skitter, skitter. Uh, and then I will lovingly caress Santa Moira, and I will cast Freedom of Movement. Nice. Uh, you can spend five feet of movement to automatically escape from non-magical restraints, such as manacles or a creature that has it grappled. Very nice. Evil uh, smile that, on my face. That is my turn. Sorry, uh, Thank my love. You. Could you... Yes. Um, Remind us what your aura does since it's been two weeks. Oh, I don't have my aura up. I oh, have okay. to redo it because we took a rest. But right, right. Uh, uh, my aura is what is it called? Oh, that's right. Uh, allies within thirty feet who could hear the spider gain advantage on saving throws and attack rolls as long as the heritage spider spends a bonus action to maintain concentration. Gotcha. Uh. All right, Column this turn. Columna right here is just going to bite Kurtz four times. These are plus 10, so 26, 18, and I'm sure the others don't hit. Uh, 26 hits. All right, it's plus six damage. Uh, so that is going to be 25. Uh, this rope, uh, Columna right here is going to go after Sporalina after yeah, I try right. to escape. Uh, 16, 17, 28, and 18. Does she uh, have partial uh, cover? Because there's a column in between. Uh, that's a good point. I'll give you a plus two to your AC. Okay, so that would make it 18. All right, you are just grappled. You are not reeled, reeled in. Which uh, one has to be grappled? The one I ran away from? Yeah, the one you ran away from. Okay. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Uh, is that... Did did uh, Cinemora immediately use her reaction to move, or is she still like right next to it? Uh, she has to use five feet. I put it in the chat. Right, yes. so she's still five feet from it. So this columna is going to attack Cinna uh, four times with her bite. Fuck you, Jesse. Fifteen, eighteen, <laughs> twenty-two, and twenty-eight. What was that? Eighteen, twenty-two, and twenty-eight, and fifteen. Um, the 15 misses, everything else hits. These are plus sixes, so that's going to be 29, uh, 37, and 27. Uh oh I'm... Are you down? Uh, let me do some math. I need a calculator. And then these are for Barry. <laughs> All bites for Barry, plus tens. 19, 22, 29, and 17. 17 misses. 1, 2, 3, plus 6s. And these are going to be 27, 41, and 38. So, wait. So, the 68, the 368s. The 23, 20, 31, and 21 are mine. They are, and, and, and add six to each. Sorry. Oh, wait, never mind. Okay. I'm sorry. My computer's acting really funky right now. So you just got to give me a moment. 
Yep, not a problem. Any questions, Delora? Or just don't. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, just... All right. Uh, easy way to do this is 21 plus 35 plus 32 I, plus I, I got it. I was just looking okay. at something else. Gotcha. Uh, Barry's and... down to 46 HP. All right. I'm out. You are out. Yeah. You've lost concentration. And you are still grappled. All right. Joy. Samora, make your first, first death save. Yeah, give me a minute. <laughs> you're you're moving at a million miles an hour, and I'm just not here for that right now. I'm Jesse. sorry. I'm sorry. I'll slow down. Take your time. We're in no rush. We're just enjoying a good, friendly game of D and D. Shut the fuck yeah. up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she saved, so we're good. You've got one save so far. Woo, Elora. All right. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, we, got, we got people that can hear besides me. So I will try and do some big damage. Uh, okay, we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to do some big smites. I think that's the best course of action. We're going to cast a Spirit Shroud first on myself, uh, <laughs> adding a D8 of Necrotic to all attacks. All right, is that concentration? It is concentration for a minute, yeah. Got it. Uh, blah, 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 yeah. Any creature within uh, that I can see that I choose within 10 feet of me be reduced by 10, which is an eight. Nice. All right, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do smacky smacky on bitchy bitchy in front of me and me. You have two, uh, you have advantage, just keep in mind. Gotcha. Uh, oh, I'm not rolling with advantage for some reason. I'll just roll with me. Okay. Um, that's not even telling me what it rolled. Nine or 12. Okay, so it's just higher. Um, all right, so we'll do a head and a tattoo there, and then a d8, and we'll toss a second level smite on there. Forty-five. Forty-five. Forty-eight. They have sixty-six damage. Right. Uh, coup de gras. I'm just. All right, 19 plus 7 is 26. Beautiful. And roll again, just in case. All right. Um, oh, sorry. And then I... Uh, it had 76 HP when it started. Uh, it had 119 when it started. I was I was doing math and subtracting. Oh, you were just okay. I looked up and it had so many. Spots. So yeah. I guess I'll I was drop quick. another fucking smite in there. Then I will right, we'll do a three. All right, 27. Because I forgot to take that one point. And excellent. And mm. roll. Oh, you already rolled the yeah. 20. All right, good. Yep, yep, yep. That is my turn. Barry's turn. Oh, yep, yeah, sorry. <sighs> I ain't out loud. Um, all right. He is going to bonus action uh, gaze at the one that is holding him again. So give me another wisdom. All right. That's hey. a natural one. Beautiful. All right. He is paralyzed. Now, Rip Apart is not a melee attack, so I don't think you get that double. Uh, sure, why not? Let's make it double. <laughs> All right, let's pop, pop two of those little tentacles off. All right, beautiful. 108. All right, uh, and then we'll do 
See if we can kill him. I get advantage on these two. Let me fix that real quick. Sure. I think those that hits anyway. Regardless, as they say, as the kids are saying these days. <laughs> All right, sorry. And then three, and then if he's still alive. Hold on, let me do math. 12, 20, 32. He has four hit points left. Uh, did you double those, by the way? Oh, those are doubled. He's gone. Okay. Um, he's going to just move here and take uh, move a little further away from that fucker uh take a last attack all right 27 so close 11. minus 11 beautiful anything else that is it kalor or curtsy sorry not kalor uh so healing word on cinemoira oh thank you yeah, I wouldn't thank you until you see that. Oh, no, all right. I thought six was... Yeah, okay. Uh, so healing Never mind, word. you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. No. No. And then... Whack at this boy. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. That's a double crit. No, it's one in 400 <laughs> chance. 11. 20. One. 34, 42. UDS. Anything else? Yet. Kalor. Alrighty. We're gonna, we're gonna do it again, because I feel like I need to save some of them sweet, sweet spell slots. We're gonna do double five firebolt on the same guy. Yeah. This guy right here? Yep. All right. 20, 14 misses, 23 hits. Jesus. Minus 18. All right. Anything else? Uh, it. Heritage Spider. <clears throat> Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. Shush. Shush, 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 shush. <laughs> Jeremy, don't tell her how to play her character. <laughs> no. Uh, there it is. Okay. Uh, I am going to... <sighs> yeah, I guess I'm going to. I'm going to... Uh... Cat... No, because I don't want Barry to die. Okay, never mind. I'm going to cast Blight on Barry. Oh. Is it going to let me? I don't know why it's been doing this lately. Okay. Um. Six to the seventh level. So that's going to be 10d8. God damn. There's so many things in the way. <laughs> Sorry. No, <laughs> it's all my fucking cheat center up. Ooh, that's a nice roll. Uh, so 54 berry. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, that is my action. So I can't cast my aura again, but I don't want Barry to die, so I feel like this is worth it. I am uh, going to... I mean, I, I know that there's not like an actual thing for this, but I'm going to try and worm my way in front of Cinemoira. You are most certainly grappled. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Uh, Never mind. You tried. Here, yeah. You tried. Uh, last my turn. All right. Here we go. This columna, after getting wailed on by Elora, is going to wail on Elora. Uh, these are all bite attacks. These are plus 10. 17, 28. Yeah, two hit. And these are plus 6. 
Oof -da. Oofy doofy. The this guy down here with Curtsy Boy is going to attack Curtsy Boy four times with a bite. These are plus ten. Three hit. Three hit. These are it's just add eighteen to all three of those. Or just to once, yeah. Not all three of them. Uh, and then this one right here is going to reel in the Heritage Spider. Heritage Spider, 28 to reel you in. You are reeled in. Natural one to bite misses. 24 and 22. Yes. All of them hit, except for the natural one. And then this is plus 12 damage on top of the 26 and 32. Stinna, you are still grappled but not dead. What are you doing? Um I'm I'm going to I'm going to heal myself. Can I heal myself? Can I cast cure well, wounds on myself? Uh yeah. So some some DMs say that uh, somatic components are not allowed when you're restrained, but I don't know if it requires somatic, so go ahead. It does, but uh, I'll allow it. 12 23 Okay. Bizarre that I'll allow it? No, that they say that D&D &D is a fairly like, I mean, it is always up to DM interpretation, but like usually if it's something like that, it'll say while restrained cannot cast ah. somatic components or whatever. Yeah. yeah especially, since, especially since Cure Wounds is a touch spell, so you're touching yourself and curing. <laughs> Yes, correct. Confirmed. All right. <laughs> Anything else? That was your action. I'm going to give Alora some inspiration. All right. You have a bark inspiration. Beautiful. Stab him till he's dead, honey. Elora. I'm just going to... Uh, my sword's still in it for my last attack, and I'm just going to just just drag it through the bottom of its... Mm. Uh, how would you like to kill it? Uh, I split it in twain, and I walk over and kiss my And, ooh, 15, 20, mm -hmm. 25, and we'll do the second attack. With advantage. Yeah, that'll hit. 30, oh, 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 um, plus a d8. Minus 17. Jesus Minus Christ, one. man. Seriously. Uh, uh, level one spite. All right. That will be my turn. Very well. Come forward. Feeling a little bit more empowered from Auntie. Uh, he going to he gonna do his big stare and he's gonna stare at both of them and then he'll wisdom save from both of them. All right. These are plus twelves. Natural one always misses and that's a eighteen. Natural one is paralyzed. Is that the one that has Sporolina? Uh, I didn't think about it. Uh, above a 50, yes. Above a 50, yes. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. In that case, don't have a rip apart. We're just gonna... Well, it's paralyzed, so it'll auto-fail its grapple. Yep. So it is grappled, and then it's just gonna take three slam attacks for double damage. <laughs> Crit! Oh, look at that! How would you like to kill him? Uh, just Barry's angry. He doesn't like being that close to falling apart, so he just he just pummels it. I, I'm assuming there's no more columns, right? These things were disguised as the columns. Oh yeah, they were the columns. Okay, yeah. He just he's just gonna uh, try and put the thing back into its column place and just like slam it into the front over. <laughs> Stop uh, moving. <laughs> uh, that'll be Barry's turn. All right, Kurtz. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Flanking. Ah, that's my next question. Q Q Q. Uh, numero uno. And numero dos. I don't know how that. Oh, I must have pressed. Something. As a natural twenty, go ahead and count that all up for me. God damn it, now I gotta do work. That's <laughs> <laughs> so what happens. Anything, anything after that while we're waiting? No, that's it. 
All right, Kalor, go ahead while we wait for Kirsten. Take us home, Kalor. You're muted. So, oh, all right, how's this boyo looking? After that, 117 points of damage, or points of hit points left. All right. We are going to do, 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 where is it? Not that. Oh, okay, there. There we go. All right. Hey, look at all these people that are nice, and let me measure this out. Do I have <laughs> enough movement? Yeah, I do have enough movement. All right. Just doing, like, the little finger square, like, am I going to be able to make this work? All right, I'm going to come over here. Be like, hi, hi the, do, do, we, do we have uh, flanking going on? We got some yeah, flanking absolutely. action. All right, we're going to bad touch him. Inflict oh, vampiric touch. 29 will hit. Oh, oh. whopping 12 points. What? what? Uh, okay, I remember that doing more damage. Um. Fourth level only doing... 46? I feel like that's low. I heal some at least. I think he uh, heals okay. six. Yeah. Alright. Anything else, Kaylor? Uh, uh, that's it, unfortunately. <laughs> Heritage Spider. Okay. I am mad. I'm very mad at this thing. But for Lena is gonna just she she's gonna do things. I'm gonna uh Rick. You know what? I am going to cast erupting earth right under this guy. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's it going to do? Uh, he needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Guess how good their dex is. The minus one <laughs> or three. Okay. Woo! Uh, that is going to be. Okay. Hold on. Uh <laughs> Roll. Oh, nice. Uh, so he takes 24 bludgeoning damage as he slammed into the ceiling. That was really a game of highs and lows, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's pinned against the ceiling? Uh, it is now difficult terrain. Uh, bludgeoning damage. I found a churn earth. And stone erupts in a twenty foot cube centered on that point. So That's a very large cube, by the way. Isn't it just a Here, we'll do it like this. Er, 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 er. <laughs> There's a cube. <laughs> okay, sick, there you go. I love that for me. <laughs> uh yeah, it doesn't say. That's basically what it says. It takes uh bludgeoning damage and that the area becomes difficult terrain and each five foot square portion of the area requires at least one minute to clear all right it is pressed up against the 15 foot high ceiling anything else <laughs> uh no that's it all right uh because... oh, wait. actually i could throw a mushroom at him now yeah, he's can. Up high. <laughs> uh yeah, yeah we're gonna do that uh, do, 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 do. It was a cap in your ass. Maybe. 22. That what? Big roll, big roll, big roll. 45. 45. Force. All right. Uh, all right. It is going to first, uh, going to reel you in, make one yeah, bite attack, fair. and then it's going to drop you and try to go after the middle column for the next two attacks. First two is a 17 and a 16. Uh, yes. The All 17. Right. 
it's just gonna reel you in, try to bite you, miss, and then just drops you, and you're just gonna take bludgeoning damage from the fall, uh, 10 points, Six. and then the other two, 13 and 15, against this uh, column, and as it grabs the column, it is going to squeeze and crack the column, because it got above a 30, and I'm gonna need uh, everyone can, to make a next turn. Can Barry use a reaction? Or. And treat the column as an ally. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, you can't he... have this one. <laughs> I was gonna go with no. Uh, the column explodes, and the prismatic spray uh, now is an explosion of prismatic energy. Everyone, make a dexterity saving throw, DC twenty. Are you Kalor? Yep. I would say we're behind the pillar. The dude, not the pillar. Oh, the, the turner. I mean, were they the... Jesus, fuck. Oh. oh, no. You're God on a cracker. What a fun day to die. I, <laughs> I feel like Jesse's just trying to knock me out of uh, Heritage Spire form. Well, and you're level close. 20. You'll just go back into it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, back into four, bitch. <laughs> All right. I'm, I am scratching my head at this one. Uh, here we go. So, we're just gonna uh, roll with it. Who failed? Who got below 20? I did. Kurtz, Taylor, Taylor, and Kurtz. Me and Bear. Alright. So, I think everybody but failed. the girls. Wait, yep, I'm gonna use my girls. inspiration to reroll. Can I do that? Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Barry can do as well. Oh, sweet. Okay. Um, it's I mean, not gonna he make has... a difference for him. It's a oh, minus good. one. Once he gets a natural 20, it all actually... <laughs> Nah, he got a three. All right. Uh, Kurtz, would you like to reuse your thing? Inspir oh, wait, no, no, no. This is uh, your bardic inspiration, but you got a natural one, so nothing's going to help you there. Uh, cool. So <laughs> I'm going to need Barry, Kalor, and Kurtz to make a wisdom save. Oh, that oh I can... Barry's great at that. Probably do. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a plus five for Barry, so that's a 19. All right, looks good. Kurtz Kaler, oh my god! <laughs> nice, double that 20. Uh, all right, cool, 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 cool. Barry, on the start of your turn, something's gonna happen. Uh, the other yeah. two are just blinded. Just in case can... he's immune to charmed, exhaustion, frightened, paralyzed, petrified, and poisoned. Gotcha. Uh, Kaylor, Kurtz, you are blinded. But nothing's gonna happen afterwards. Uh, cool. Cinna. Um... How bad would it be if I healed myself again? <laughs> no, not at all. Go ahead for it. You're allowed yeah, to heal yourself. There's plenty of people before that guy's turn. Keep in mind that if you wait till out of combat, your healing potions do max uh, healing. So if you want to use your healing potion. That's I mean, true. It's up to you. Um, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. Would I be able to cast yeah. Shatter and just hit him? Uh, yeah. He's, he's up above up. us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And okay. if you shatter the structure, he'll fall 15 feet. Uh, constitution. Well, the structure's gonna shatter no matter what. The con is a plus 14, so that's a lot. Jesus uh, Christ. Half damage is 6. Minus 6, and then roll 3d6 for me, because he's up 15 feet, and he's gonna fall 15 feet. Go ahead and roll 3d6, Senna. Is it a d10 for fall damage? I thought it was oh, d6s. D10. Yeah, I think it's G6. Double check, just in case. But I'll take that nine points of damage for now. And then, uh, Elora. That was pitiful. You're absolutely right, it's G6. All right. Um, yeah, Elora is not uh, just done. She's going to have Barry move up. She's going to walk up Barry, so she's up face to face with this thing, and she's just going to slam into it, just going, I hate fucking puzzle! <laughs> <laughs> uh, how would you like to kill it? Uh, she's still smashing it into the stone after it's dead. It's just like this frustration. Mince over. meat. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm gonna go AFK to go to the bathroom so you guys can figure out this fucking post. Are you still on your audio? I'll be able to hear. Yeah, I won't be able to. All right. Uh, so the prismatic spray. When you roll a seven on a failed save, the target is blinded. It must then make a wisdom saving throughout the start of their turn, which Barry already made. A successful save ends the blindness. Uh, so actually, you guys are not blinded. So I apologize. 
so not blind. And besides, you guys would make wisdom saves, and it, you'd get rid of it eventually. Um, if the successful, or uh, if it fails the save, the creature is transported to another plane of existence of the GM's to, uh, choosing, and is no longer blinded. Uh, typically, a creature that is on a plane that isn't its home plane is banished home, while other creatures are usually cast into the astral or ethereal planes. Uh, Barry, pop. Barry, go cool. home. Are you to the astral plane? If I mean, we were on, if we were on the main plane, yeah. With me, I would like, like, a, DM, I would like a DM ruling on that. Are you saying the astral plane? Yes or no? Uh, no, we're not on our native plane, so he would go home. But what oh, is okay. home for Barry? Because he's a summoned creature, you know what I mean? <sighs> he's not a summoned creature. He's a construct. So home would be the plane uh, in which he was created. Sure. Material plane. He's gone. Uh, Elora just starts crying, and that's where I will go poop. Have fun pooping. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Um, that not was great. like super not fun. So did really did we pass great. the did did we pass the puzzle? <laughs> the puzzle is now demolished, so I don't Indeed know. It is. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna love you just for a bit. Uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna chug a health potion. All right. Mm, no 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 yet. No. Ixnag save. I just have to move everybody. Make sure I have all that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This this is the best way to do this. Uh, ninth level mass heal, seven hundred. Holy points. Jesus! <laughs> yeah, uh, all of you are max hit points. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna cut the chase. We're just gonna go all for nothing. Okay, you didn't have to go that hard, but okay. Well, Spider Lena only had ten HP left, so she's happy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm just pretty, saying. I'm pretty low. <laughs> All right. Oh wait, did I just do that twice? Damn it. Sin a one. All right. There we go. <sighs> that there, so I remember. I uh, remember to tell Elora one day back. Um. Elora, so... Elora is listening. So. Oh great. Yes. Uh. So now, what do if central pillar is blown up? Well, there's still the portals. Um, what did the whispers say again? I think they got booted up. Your songs of anguish will be as hymns to my triumph. Well, is it satisfied it heard songs of anguish? Alora is crying. <laughs> uh, that is true. I'm going to need uh, mm -hmm. who was the last person to get hit. Barry, technically? Before Barry. <laughs> or after, yeah, after Barry. Or before Barry. I'm gonna go with Kurt, because uh, you, you got... Actually, it, it was me, because I got 10 more HP. Uh, go ahead and roll me a wisdom save, please. Can do, boss man. <laughs> oh my god. Life's so just slow. Quick housekeeping. Uh, how long has it been since we fought Parker Van Horn? A or, while. Uh, would you say a month? Not a month, no. It's probably no. been several days. Damn it. Okay. Why? No, no reason. Why? No reason. Why? You wouldn't ask if you didn't have a reason. It's a reason y'all don't need to know about because it doesn't matter. <laughs> I it actually, am it going to... I'm going to do my best to intimidate him into telling me what the hell he's talking about. 
He was talking to his god, and you did not overhear him. Sorry. <laughs> no, it it really is nothing. It's just like a small item I have. No. Oh, small. That... I don't believe you, but okay. <laughs> it is a small it, item, technically. <laughs> it is a necklace. Is it the... it is a, it's a necklace oh, sized item. It's, yeah, it's the control of the fucking golems. Um. No, no, no. Oh, okay. uh, no, oh. but I should have the golems. That's what I'm saying. I said that, like, when we first went to the poison realm, I was like, oh, so what, he's not the golems anymore? <laughs> Any I, licked the, I licked his skin to put it on my chest. I called mm -hmm. baloney. Uh, 25, because I'm right next to Alora. You're fine. Uh, one of my dots is for the flame tongue sword. I don't know which one it is. Uh, purple is usually Bardic Inspiration. Yes. Uh, orange is usually Concentration, which I assume, Alora, you're done concentrating, I think. I'm just going to take that off you. But I think Cinna, Kalor, and Kurtz are uh, poisoned right now. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> I think we totally forgot about that. <laughs> no. What did we get poisoned with? Uh, I think it was last session or two sessions ago. No, because I made it so everyone was immune to poison. Yeah, the heroes we used. Didn't that wear off when you guys took a long rest? Yeah, but that's when we fought. We took the long rest and we fought the golem looking dude and then went immediately here. Okay. I'm going to just take off Switching the green then. Real fast. All right. I'm going to take off the green then. I need like a little weapon one uh, for the lordly rod. You know, you uh, could do it. <laughs> oh, I can? Yes. Where have you been? Click on your token. I can. <laughs> Click oh, on your token and you see the drop down. Oh Click my god. There you go. Woo! I don't want to have to deal with this all the time. You guys need to learn. <laughs> We've been doing this for how long? For like three years. <laughs> I... hmm. It's been there since three years ago, so. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, 100%. Are you positive? Because I feel <laughs> yes. like this is a new thing. It is not. <laughs> it's new to him. Every week, I just feel a little bit smarter. <laughs> uh, Jer, if you're talking, we can barely hear you. No, it's okay. It's sort of at you. Ah. All good things, all good things. All right, what you guys doing? I'm going to hug my wife. Make an intelligence save. <laughs> try and help figure this out. I'm and not trying to die. Sorry. Oh, I had a really quick thought. Um, Woo! Did, Jesse, am I right in remembering you said the gemstones were set up in like a compass? Indeed. Uh, indeed. Eight, eight different stones in a compass. Uh, but it looks like a lot of them, a lot of the stones that were there... Uh, either got scattered, broken, shattered, what have you, and the only ones that survived were from either the that compass or in the columna themselves. Uh, it appears like they had this camouflage of actual gemstones, and that's what I just posted in the chat of what you guys are welcome to pick up. Uh, the compass of gemstones are, is the House Golian gemstone facing it. Uh... North. It w it was facing north, and you'd you'd know that. Um, let me. Um. All right. Is. All right. Well, it's going to be very all over the carpet. <laughs> just buried had to bury sulking around the, the citadel just mama <laughs> all the the like ghost brandy <laughs> um cool uh so wait, wait. Uh, are you guys still poisoned? 
we yeah. went with no. No, we went okay. with no. Oh. Do we want uh, to try pressing it? Oh, sorry. There's nothing else to press, is there? Nothing to press. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they got right. destroyed. Into the thick of it. Try the north. Take my head to the north. All right. And you're I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna hold on to your hand, like time. in case you get pulled in. All right. As you poke your head through uh, the north side, you can see right through a new room with misshapen stone plinths dominate the center of this room. Roughly conical in shape, the stone appears to sag as if slowly melting over an eternity. Um, I described the room. My head back, describe the room. Do we want to check to the left and the right, or want to just balls deep? Uh, I uh, I don't know. I don't fucking know. Just I don't. Know. I honestly, at this point, I'm exasperated. I'm ready to be done with this place. Let's just pick. Let's just decide. North. Input? Good talk. Well, you're um, silent on great. The issue. All right. I heard Kalor yell north. Uh -huh. uh, north it is then. <laughs> All right. Copy and pasting. Shoop. And you guys arrive through the side portal to the west. And you see the misshapen stone plinths dominate the center of this room. Roughly conical in shape, the stones appear to sag as if slowly melting over an eternity. As you enter, floating lights slowly fall from the ceiling and uh, hovers just behind each of your heads, causing long shadows to be thrown in front of you. I'd be way up. Can I roll for a vibe check? Uh, as you... So as you do a divine sense, you don't feel anything from the orbs, just like, they're just same magical in nature, but then you sense undead. And it's not coming from the orb, it's coming from a shadow. And out from one of the shadows comes this being, and they look utterly terrified, upset, sad, despair. They look like they are trying to speak to you, but nothing is heard. They are trying to communicate. There seems like they're yelling at you, but not a peep. Not even their footsteps, not the wind on their robes, nothing you can, can hear. Can except, I mind? Really quick. Except Sorry. if you cannot even trust yourself, despair is all that is left to you, is what Sporolina hears with her passive. I say this out loud. This place is like so goth but like not even like in a fun way and like a oh look at me everything is sad. everything is awful death and gloom blue <laughs> yeah and i'm telling you right now it's so boring i thought the dripping blood dripping walls was a pretty decent feat of magic it it took a little bit to figure out how to do that. You did great, honey. And you know, I'm te I'm teaching the meat wall common. I mean, okay, that is kind of impressive. Um. Cool. All right. Hey, Jesse. Yes. Which door did we enter from? Is it the one on the left? Okay. And you were gonna say something about miming? Oh, I was just gonna say like I'm gonna I like Place not rigged. in a mocking way, but just kind of a 
like kind of give them the calm down and then I'm going to mime write it out. All right. <laughs> just just to see what happens. Like just calm down, write it out. All right. So just to uh, see what it, he's he's p picking up his hand and trying to write something in his hand, but he's like looking for something. Uh, and he, he's trying to write, but he doesn't have a utensil or a paper or anything. Can can I poke the painting with, uh, like, do I have a stick? Can I, like, pull a stick out of my hair and just kind of poke the painting with it a little bit? Painting? I, I assumed it was a painting. This creature? It was walking around? Oh, I thought, oh, the picture made it seem like it was a painting, my bad. Yep, not a problem. Although, okay. my love, uh, if any of us is going to attempt charades with this creature, it might it might be you the best to do. Okay. Charades! Well, I guess a performance check of, like, how well can we charade to each other about what he... Actually, let me, let me see if I have... I might actually have... I have an ink pen. <laughs> I have ink. I have an ink pen. I have... I, I have some paper... I hand it, I pull, I'm rummaging through my knapsack and I'm pulling out my pen, my ink, and my paper, and I'm like, write it out. <laughs> okay. As they begin writing it out, they explain how they used to, they, they, they say this in their writing. Five adventurers we were, a band of wonderful people, together, inseparable, hearty, difficult to take down until we found this place one by one she tortured and broke us I am the last I am all that survived but I have nothing but despair left in me and as he looks up I'm gonna need a wisdom saving throw from Cinna of course That's fine. it's the last thing I you know last time I'd be nice to people my god, I was trying to be nice to the just ghost. This is the mm. last time. This is the last time I'm nice to anybody. Alright, uh, you rolled a 19, which is exactly what you needed. Uh, so you save, luckily enough, and uh, he just begins utterly crying, uh, although you cannot hear him as to um, what he is doing. Pat, pat, pat sorrow, sorrow, <laughs> prayers. <laughs> Great show. Thank you. <laughs> um, can I like circle around these pillars and when, while the light is shining and casting shadows, is there anywhere I, I'll, I'll ask Forlina to walk with me and I'm gonna have her ask her to keep an eye out for anywhere like where it looks like either the shadows conglomerate to show an image or a message or if there's anywhere where you're standing where the pillars line up to you know point an arrow at a door or something. Wait, how many okay. families did they eliminate again? Five. 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 I also have a blind sight as Spider, as Spiderlina. All right. Can I get a perception check from Alora and Spiderlina, or just one from I, yeah, the two kids? Yeah, we can manage to a spider. Spiderlina, Spiderlina, Spiderlina. We came in from this door, right? Indeed. Okay. Oh my god. You have inspiration? Or is that purple something or orange something? Uh with that nineteen, unfortunately, uh you don't really see anything of interest. You're just casting long, long shadows on you all around. And the despair continues writing, Sinamora. As he continues writing, he says, There's only one way out for me. Melora has asked me. And I'm ready. Oh, to kill us? And he takes out a dagger. <laughs> oh, fuck me. And uh, he is going to attempt to fight can, you. Can I do a passive perception to <laughs> see, like, if I can figure out his facial expressions and, like, get a feel like the vibes are off, man, and be able to back away before he attacks. I just turn undead. Uh, really quick. So, uh, 
in terms of your perception. Go ahead and give me a perception. Well, passive is 25, but I will do Zeus. We just had a discussion about this. Uh, all right, so what you trying to de determine? Just to see, like, if I could maybe premeditate his, like, actions, or I guess, like, It would just be an initiative perceive. roll to see, like, who's who's faster. Okay. All right. And then turn on dead for Kurtz. Well, we're going to see who gets first in initiative. So go ahead and click on your token. And he is going to... I'm a speed little bitch. <laughs> That's an 18 for that boy. I hate when it rolls or when it moves. All right, waiting on Kalor and Sporlina. All right. I didn't know we were, we were partaking in this. I mean, you're more than welcome to sit back and relax. No. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, see? It's like you have this. I think it's totally fine. Yeah. Perfect. Yep, that's about right. Wow, Senna <laughs> and Kurtz both go before the despair. <laughs> um, I'm gonna cast Thunder Wave on this little guy. Like, I'm sorry, my dude, but no, no. All right, Thunder Wave. Con, con save. save. Uh, that's to all creatures within 15 feet. So I assume you want to swing around this way. And you're still gonna hit. Kalo. I figured it. Okay, I figured it would be a cube going the like towards the wall, like going itself and a cube. Oh. Yes. So it's only okay. one Never square mind. around. Never mind. Dead. Never mind. Miss misinterpreted. So yes. All right. Sixteen. That's Fifteen foot. Oh, that is. All right, cool. Uh, all right, so 16 plus, what was it, Con? He passed. So half. All right, to five points of damage. Anything else? Nope, that's it. All right. Minus five. Kurtz. Five, ten, and turn on dead. So I need a wisdom save. Ten plus eight, nine, uh, eighteen. Oh, uh, what's the CR? Uh, nineteen. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> um. Well, it doesn't matter. He is turned for one minute, or until it takes any damage. This must spend its turn trying to move away as far as from me as it can. Can't willingly move to a space within thirty feet. Also, can't take reactions. And it's Ford's action. It can only use the dash action or try to escape from an effect that prevents it from moving. All right. Over the course of the next several rounds, I assume you guys just completely bash this guy in. I was going to try and talk to him. but Okay, you can try and talk. Uh, I mean, yeah, because as soon as we hit him, I mean, we could do yeah. one round of us all hitting him at the same time, but as soon as we hit him, he's no longer. Oh, I missed that. Okay, sorry. I thought he, uh, you were just going to wail on him. I was going to say, I think we should go through this door and just leave him here. I don't know. I was hoping that we could fix his despair. Yes, I mean, hope is the enemy of despair. Is there any way we could give him hope? Where are your bones, child? Uh, he is a feared and running away. <laughs> so you can't talk. Good, you should be, you little bitch. He's only afraid of me, so if he's with outside of 30 feet it should be that doesn't matter else. that doesn't matter i'll still take this as a win Shh. i'm um, just gonna assume you're gonna pursue him and just keep him in a corner yeah spider lena is just gonna kind of spider up to him and be like if 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 you show us your friends and your bodies we can bring them to your home and bury them and perhaps that'll give you and your family some closure i i know that may laura has tricked you um but you could be better than her it's pretty easy and by the way we totally rocked that bitch from the mortal plane and don't that's the only reason she's oh, give, me, I... 
a persuasion check. I'm miss talking about me or Sporly? Both. Or oh. one can do with advantage. I have a plus 11. Uh, I think you're probably going to be better than you get. Let me just double check. I have a plus 10, so go ahead. 22. Um, Cinemora gave me inspiration last round, too. I, I didn't get marked with it. Oh, sorry. I didn't that's hear right. it. I'll just use it right now. So that's I just want I think it's a D12 now, right? Yeah. 29. So, 29. All right. And uh, as and I was... Carolina tries right. to use her spider legs to make a heart. Like, you know how you would with your hands? <laughs> um, it's 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 a little creepy, but little like you can pay for effort. Yeah, but you can like get it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So with that, uh, the despair is going to begin quickly writing down. Their souls were taken by Neronius. Only by destroying Melora would make things better, but it would never make things all right. How do we get to her? How do we get out of this place? Uh, he is going to... Hmm. Would he know? He'd probably know. Yeah, especially at this point. She would probably tease him with it. Like, oh, you stupid little mortal. This you is were the way so you could have out. Yeah. You went left instead of right. He, okay, he, he begins writing down, this is a labyrinth. So we just keep going one way and we'll eventually get to the end? This is a labyrinth, and there are multiple ways to get there. I know that once you came, you can go south from here, and you'll be in a different room from where you were before. But beyond that, it is unknown to me. All right, well, we'll do our best to I release your spirit from You're here. entirely unhelpful. I would like to incite that. Sure. No, I don't trust him. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. He tried to attack us. The plus nine for a 20, 20 flat. Uh, he is being truthful. Oh, okay. I still give him the stink eye. Is he a <laughs> is he a drow? No. Yeah. No, he looks human, right? He does look human. That's what I thought. Um, yeah, we'll do our best to uh, release you from this area, or at the very least, make sure no one else is trapped down here. Yeah, and if you're, uh, you should feel lucky that Barry's not here because he would a hundred percent eat your body. So, <laughs> as he should. All right. With that, you guys head southward, I assume. Yeah. Uh, really quick, just just for flavor, I'm gonna take off my uh, my. Pe I have a pendant of my my home. But underneath it, I also wear a pendant of the of the moon goddess, and I'm gonna take that off and I'm gonna place it on the ground next to him, and I'll just say, even in the darkest corners, the ho there is hope of light, and I'm just gonna leave him with a hope. Take inspiration for that. Cool. All right, you guys head south. South we go. Whoop. Into the acid trap. <laughs> Woo! Not like we've never done that before. No, that's the next room. Uh, you oh. guys arrive. This area is featureless, except for a table and the exit portals. The immediately apparent is another now familiar glowing green cross. Two shafts of light that form upward directed planes. Uh, but this one is on the table in the middle of the room and it holds five more Venomous Droughts of Healing. Can we make any fucking rolls to figure out if we understand what the goddamn shafts of light are supposed to do? <laughs> you did it last time, I'll let you do it again. History check. I was gonna say, can I do a history check? Sure. Yes, go. <laughs> <That's Hey>! 20. <laughs> nice. Oh, gosh. <laughs> All right. I am going to rate this second, text John, because I have no idea. <laughs> Jesus. Just give me a moment. 
Oh, I mean, he won't respond. Was, to uh, uh, yeah, Jesse just <laughs> casually dropping that he has the the phone number for the person who created this whole fucking. Uh, it's it's Discord. It's it's just texting Discord. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, damn, bro, holding out on us. Like, I'll ask him over drinks tomorrow. <laughs> All right, gather up the droughts. Are they all the max level droughts? Uh, yeah, supreme healing, uh, droughts of healing. I'm making an intelligence check to see if I understand this goddamn riddle, because I'm, I'm the super dumb in real life. Was there um, a riddle? I thought this was a blank. Uh, so Sporlina also hears the whisper. Oh, I missed that. Uh, I didn't say it yet, sorry. Uh, stay a while, perhaps sleep. My embrace awaits you as your reward. Oh, definitely not sleeping here. Yeah, my like God. So, uh, Laura, you grab the potions, or who grabbed the potions? I don't think anyone. Oh, I'll grab them. Oh, well, yeah, I think I'm going to need them. a wisdom saving throw. That's okay. Okay. No, I've, I've learned my lesson. Hand stay in pockets through the rest of this thing until we're attacked. 23. Uh, 23. Okay, good. As the character touches an item warded with this trap, a powerful spell activates that produces a doorway to an idyllic but maze-like building that perfectly matches the dreams of the individual. Uh, the character must make a DC 20 wisdom saving throw to resist entering the mansion. On a failure, the temptation to enter is too strong. The character finds themselves in an exquisite but maze-like home that they cannot leave. After 10 minutes of wandering the mansion, they may make another check. With a success, the character may leave the mansion. Additional saving throws occur at lengthier intervals, such as an hour, a day, a week, a month, a year. Jesus. So it basically becomes a bottle of it. Yeah, but luckily you save, so you're good. Sick. Ooh, fancy trap! Unfortunately for you, it looks nothing like my home. <laughs> <laughs> there, uh, there's nothing else besides the, the, the shafts of light, the table, the droughts, nothing that would indicate there's a, a one possible better way to go than the other. Correct. All right, so first room, we went we went north you went north and then we you arrived west west and then we came then we went south and, and arrived, arrived north. north yep east uh. wait no I could try east I'll poke my head through these. East. All right. As you look through the east portal, you see this chamber is composed of smooth, pristine onyx. It is uh, 35 feet square and roughly 20 feet high. Uh, you can, although opaque, you can make out uh, your passive. In the What's your passive uh, perception? Like a hundred, Jess. Mm -hmm. uh, it's eleven. That's. <laughs> I, have pa I have a seventeen passive insight. Though, does this seem like a good direction to go? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with you're not sure. Seventeen vibe check. <laughs> uh, uh, Onyx room. Uh, can't see much past that. So. Uh... Marlena puts her head through and looks in. All right, as you look in, uh, though opaque, you can make out a dimly lit portal deep beneath you, uh, well below the glass floor. Probably about 30 feet down below the glass floor. I pull my head back. I go, there's a portal below the glass floor in there? Cool. Do you think that might be our way out? Maybe. It's possible. Can I run over and stick my head through the west portal real quick? The west. You see Please. the the sterile white room that you killed all the columnas in. For the first room. Okay. Uh, and then the south portal. Uh, 
as you stick your head through the south portal, it's a bug. It's an hydra! <laughs> south portal um... is actually the anus of another hydra. <laughs> Don't you ever tell anyone where I've been! You find a room with a lot of home am amenities, such as a couch, a bed, some tables, toilets, uh, a toilet, a uh, kitchen area, a lot of uh, curtains and curtain rods put up. Uh, you see a tub, a sink, etc., like a, a table off to the side. You see what looks to be uh, instruments of torture and uh, a couple other things. Uh, cards on the table, and uh, make a perception check. So, you know, an apron, like just somebody's black. summer home. <laughs> uh, you hear echoing, but it's discombobulating while you're halfway in the uh, portal. It's hard to, like, locate where that echoing is coming from. There's a lot of curtains, but it's probably someone behind some curtains. But uh, they, it, it seems like they were talking before you even stuck your head through. So it's not like they're talking to you. All right. There's definitely something speaking in there. Uh, it looks like a home with some torture devices. Uh, definitely not uh, giving off like weird Red, Red Robin Hood vibes. Red Robin Hood? Red Riding Hood Red vibes. Robin? <laughs> So we can go uh, deliver some sweets to Granny, or we can take our chances with the obsidian room with the glass floor that will probably break underneath us. Um, I go glass, glass floor. floor. Glass floor. <laughs> As the uh, most light-footed of us, perhaps the giant spider should go first. I'll do it. I go. All right. As you go right through and you guys went east so that means you are coming west out of here all right that's east up oh, uh you guys went east and you're coming east yes sorry okay. <laughs> uh but yeah so you are now in this room uh aside from the glass floor no other markings or Anything else? Uh, nope, just a onyx black room uh, with a black floor and only Sporolina. You can actually hear the very darkness itself will engulf you and you will be lost is what you hear. Um, I was like made in the darkness <laughs> Duh. uh i will i will say this to everybody um i'm gonna start like uh spider testing the glass floor like <laughs> like kind of walking across it and just like see if i can find any uh spots that are different and laura puts Sound the bag good. of ball bearings away that she was about to talk <laughs> kind of like uh yeah like uh, like i'm checking to see if it's good china or trying to find a, a or squid gaming <laughs> sure go ahead and give me a perception check as you investigate or investigation whichever you prefer uh perception uh i am outside so i'm gonna roll on my phone and i promise i'm not lying because i'm, I'm not a taking good any person. risk and i'm going fart <laughs> <laughs> you know, kalar goes into gaseous form sounds good all right. See, now it just seems like I'm lying. I rolled a 20, a natural 20. It sounds like you're lying. No, I just, I took a picture of it. I'm sending it right now. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Send it. I uh, am. As you look down uh, at this onyx floor, you can see that, yes, the portal is down beneath in the center of this room, uh, probably about 30 feet below. But then you notice other things. You notice bubbles small little bubbles like uh like you know how bubbles are encased in glass uh ornaments sometimes and they're just yeah. like stay they stay there they don't move they're not moving up or down mm -hmm. they, they're just there that's kind of what you see and then you see the eyes open up as a massive onyx ooze begins pushing the glass floor upward and you are now moving upward with the glass floor to the ceiling that is <laughs> 20 feet high, and every round will be 5 feet. 
Everyone roll initiative. <laughs> How tall are the portal? Uh, five feet. So we're already past the portal? Yeah, it's like, I'd say seven feet, but it's, like, yeah, you have two yeah. feet to like... And Sporlina was like in the middle of the room when she was investigating, so we're gonna put her right there. Hello! That's fair. And roll that. Five. I hate this. This is like legit nightmare fuel for me. All right. Uh, what was I doing? So music. Hi, no man. <sighs> Hi. Uh, don't listen to him. Morbius, I swear to the good Lord above. Stop letting people on the internet think that I abuse you. Stop abusing uh, it. Is it a he? It's a he. It's a he. It's a he. <laughs> Heritage spider, there's a thing of glass between you and this onyx ooze, and okay. you are rising, and there are, there's two feet of, uh, of uh, uh, portal left to go back to. What are you doing? Um, dun, 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 dun. Hmm. I'm gonna reverse gravity. Just kidding. <laughs> that would be hey, pretty Elphaba. interesting, though. <laughs> <laughs> it would just kill me. It would squish me. Well, is it a point you it... can see, though? Defying gravity. Uh, Swells versus reverses gravity in a 50 foot radius, 100 foot high cylinder centered on a point within range. That's practically the whole room. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like increased gravity would be what we need right now. Yeah. <laughs> Make it really heavy. Um, okay. You have dominate monster. Uh, I do actually. Is it prepared? Is the question. It is not. Okay. Well, uh, let me see. I. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I know. I am going to cast Thunder Wave at the glass at a high level. This will end well. All right, uh, go for it. Yeah. Uh, is the ooze within 15 feet of me? Uh, the ooze is on the opposite side of this, maybe a couple inch thick glass. And okay, it takes up the entirety of the room. Oh, okay, so he is under me. He is directly underneath. He is the black. He is the black floor. Literally okay. the black floor. He is square. Okay, I'm just trying to smash the glass. Oh, but then we'd fall into him. There is a portal underneath him. Oh yeah, that's true. Okay, I'm gonna try and line myself up <laughs> to fall <laughs> through to the portal once I smash this glass. I'm gonna try anyway. I've made my decision. Sporlina, it does not work super well under pressure. So we're going to thunder wave it. Under <laughs> pressure. <laughs> All right, go ahead and thunder wave it. And it's not letting me fucking do that. So. Uh, we'll do it at a fifth level. So that would be. Seven B eight. Blair is answering my question. He said, uh, a green glowing cross, like, no, this is poisonous. Don't drink. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's the official answer, so don't take that <laughs> as gospel. Uh, 27. Beautiful. Um, uh, is there a save on this? Oh, uh, well, he would make a con save. Con save. Yeah, this is going to be a plus seven. 
Uh, 19. That fails. All right, minus 27. And the glass has broken beneath your feet. And uh, everyone except for Kalor, who is a gaseous form, uh, is going to now be knee deep in this onyx ooze. But that also pushes him 15 feet away. From you. Yes. I mean, he's already on the floor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't. I was like, he's. It smooshes him down, Jesse. He looks like like when dogs smoosh their face up against glass. Yeah. Okay. Let's go with that. And you yeah. guys, uh, you guys feel like a bloop, 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 bloop. like you know, it's like a, a wave of energy as she casts it. Anything else? Um, you know what? Just because Sperlina does not like this big thing, she's gonna be like ah, and throw a mushroom at it too. Sounds good. How much space okay. is there between this thing's gooey body and the port? Uh, looking, reading, reading, reading. Uh, 30. Okay. So 30 it's a, feet. This is a 30 foot monster. It is 30 foot high. Yeah, exactly. 19? Uh, I have a feeling he's pretty easy to hit. Oh, yeah. I'm going to say that's a, his armor class is a 7 for. Yeah, I was going to say he's cares. a noose. Yeah. <laughs> so like, have at it. <laughs> 35 force. 35. Beautiful. Anything else? Uh, that's. All Spider Leader get got while she's trying to uh, run across Jello. All right, Elora, you start your turn in this creature. Uh, you are going to take uh, seven d six. Why is it such a weird number? That is so weird. Uh, Twenty nine plus three is thirty two. Thirty two acid damage. Okay. Um. Oh, I wish I had something that could stop this fucking thing in its place. I don't want it to have a turn attacking us while it slowly devours us. Um. Fuck it. I guess we're gonna be moving half speed through it, right? Uh, the cube takes us into space. Other creature can enter space, but the creature that does so is so much getting engulfed. Uh, creature inside the cube would have a total cover. Creature within five feet of the cube can take an action to pull a creature out of the to do so for 18. And golf. Uh, cube moves up to its speed while doing so. It enters a huge amount of the cubes. Uh, creature saving throw is 18, yada yada. On a successful save, the creature can choose to push five feet back or the side of the cube. A creature that chooses not to be pushed suffers the consequence of failed save. On failed save, take acid. The engulfed creature can't breathe, is restrained, and takes acid damage at the start of their turns. When the cube moves, the engulfed creature moves with it. An engulfed creature can try to escape, yada, yada, yada. Uh, I'm reading... So we can't move through it. Um, no, there is... There's That was the stat block. Now I'm okay. reading the actual book. Uh, athletics checks. It's going to be athletics checks to try and move through DC 22. Oh, that's not my forte. Uh, I'd have to roll a... Th 14 or higher. Might need some inspo for that. Uh, 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 wow. This is, this, this, this sucks, guys. Um, <laughs> you know what? We're just going to try something. This will probably do nothing, but it's better to do something than nothing. I think I'm going to just take some swings at it. Fuck it. I'm a big. I'm a big bitch with a big sword. We're going to do this. All right. I will spend uh, a point of exertion to uh, do dangerous strikes, meaning I will crit on a 19 or a 20. Okay. And do feeling that something else might happen. Uh, please don't go balls to the wall. I have a plan. FYI. Okay. Uh, uh, both of us hit, yeah. So, yeah. I'm not going to expend too much just yet. 15, 35, 30. Alright, anything else? Uh, you know what? I will point a tattoo point in just a heat. Well, points to it as well. All right, Kalor. 
Um, Go ahead and take that uh, 21 points of acid damage, please. Okay. Acid damage. Uh, oh, wait. Um, oh, wait, you're a gaseous. Never mind. Screw that. Yeah. Ignore me. Again. I forgot. <laughs> All right. Um, so I was going... I guess I'm gonna need to follow my friend. So I'm going. How's this gonna work with me being a uh, flying far, flying through the the other dark inky fart? Uh, Is that other of... dark inky fart solid? Yeah, I was gonna say it's more of a solid liquid than the not an oobleg, so... if you will. So according to this rule, it says uh, they can either have an attack or strength, uh, and they can move by making a strength uh, check DC twenty two. I'd let you do that for a free action. Uh, however, movement in the same is as swimming through difficult terrain, i.e. Uh, foot of movement. It costs two extra feet, so it's half speed. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, in essence, you it would just be moving at half speed, but okay. you'd have to make your athletics check first to actually see if you go through. Okay. I, I Wait, was it athletics specifically, or was it a, I should say, or, there was a strength it's athletics. Okay. And how far down what did you say the the portal was? 30 feet. 30 feet. Oh wait. Um this is all dark dark, right? It's an onyx ooze. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use uh, that new special abil ability I got at uh, level 19 to just teleport through the darkness. How far is the teleport? Through the darkness. It is... Holy shit, that hit my ear. Um... Form um, six sorcery points. You can magically transport into a shadowy form for one minute. Uh, wait, uh, a shadow walk. And dim light or darkness is a bonus action. Magically teleport up to 120 feet. Ah, damn. You want to do that? It, it does say to an unoccupied space, so I don't know if uh... you will be jettisoned toward the portal. Okay. Yeah, I, I will. I will jettison myself towards the portal. I will. You guys watch as the fart that is Kalor just turns black into a black mist and then you look down at the portal and you see a bloop, and just like a fart just disappears. Yeah, that's that's fair. Okay, <laughs> son of a bitch. All right, Kaylor, you're on the opposite side. I'll cover that whenever we get to it. Uh, so in there, and now it's just you against a, against 16 Hydras. <laughs> Sina, uh, you're going to take... I'm not going to keep rolling this. Just take 21 points of damage. Okay. It is your turn, Senna. I would like to follow suit of my wife and attack with a cruel and vicious ferocity to the best of my abilities while falling between the spaces of the ooze and the wall. And I'm trying to figure out, would Shatter hit anyone if I did it far away enough? Oh, yeah, it would be fine. You'd be fine. Okay. I'm going to assume um, it can be higher seven. than that. That yeah. was a tilt. Uh, 18, it's going to barely pass. Five points of damage. Okay. Anything else? Um, I'm going to muffle my scream and cover my mouth just so like none of this... Ooze gets in Side my orifices. Orifices. <laughs> orifices. Orifices. But that's my that's my turn. And would would I be able to just fall thirty feet? Into uh, no, the you'd have to swim first. Do a strength oh, and then swim. Fuck me. Okay. So athletics check. That is not. Oh. Uh, plus let zero me still gonna let me no let me let me do an athletics check all right 14 is still not gonna be enough you 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 ain't moving kurtz it is your turn god damn it reminder uh, kurtz, you still have bardic inspiration 
Okay, uh, cool. Uh, I need a charisma saving throw. From you. Uh, minus five. Natural <laughs> one, minus five. It's a negative four. Bye, ooze. Bye, bye, ooze. Bye, ooze. Bye, bye, ooze. <laughs> and bloop, it is gone, and you all begin falling 30 feet. Everyone make a dexterity ah! save for Kaylor. <laughs> Uh, the 30 save, we'll say it's a DC 10. <laughs> this makes it even funnier. <laughs> I was going to say it's a plus 5, but it's a not 1. <laughs> uh, so that is 3d6. Uh, take half damage if you got above a 10. Uh, Cinna, take the whopping 12 points of fall damage. Oof. But otherwise, Kurtz, you... Oh, Kurtz! Make a constitution saving throw to see if you uh, lose your concentration check on your bandage. Oh, that would be so funny. <laughs> uh, you do not. on top of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you do not. You guys all rush into the portal without much of an issue, but very clutch. Very nice. Nice. And you guys are back together with Kalor after like six seconds. Not even. That was clutch. You guys rush through the portal. And you arrive. No. Dinosaurs? You guys see uh, two very large, let me describe it, um, resting on the corpse of what looks like the remains of a colossal dragon. Two dinosaurs look up as you enter. Each is bright green along its back and flanks with a much lighter shade of the same color on its underside. Their bodies have darker spots or stripes, and tails that extend straight out behind them, held aloft by an intricate structure of bony supports, allowing their weight to be carried entirely by their back legs. The dire interceptors rush in for the kill. Everyone roll initiative. That has to do something unbelievably funny. Do it. Also, this is, I think, uh, the first room. Oh, fuck. Well, no initiative for us. Sorry. Click on that again. I apologize. That was my fault. Uh, you can load your characters in. Uh, this is the first room that you guys can see uh, besides the, the Titan room. Uh, this is the first room that's like you can see the sea again with all the mist and the clouds and the chaos uh, of the winds and such like that. So... And the dire interceptors are 340. Okay, look at us. 23, 22, 21, 20. And then 16. <laughs> Someone had to ruin it. 13. <laughs> I do have the opportunity to do something hysterical. All right. Do it. Kurtz, you are still concentrating, but I assume you drop concentration because you're no longer in that room. It's up to you. Yeah, the door. I need <laughs> two charisma saving throws. Wait, say again? I need two charisma saving throws. This is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> this Minus is my three. monster. <laughs> Minus three. <laughs> hey, it still failed. <laughs> wow, double 19 for a 16. Bye bye. <laughs> they rush over to the next portal. There's three of them in here. There are three portals. Oh shit, there are three portals. We gotta go quick. Uh, uh, I will look through the south portal first. I'll look, I'll take the same, we'll just we'll split it up, we'll do it all at the same time so we're not wasting time. Alright, you it. all split up, and uh, the south portal, uh, first off, you can look through the north portal, and you can see you're back on the onyx room, and the yeah. uh, onyx ooze is there again, but you are at the south portal, so not the bottom portal. Of uh, the east portal, you can see a new room, and you can see a figure with her back turned to you all. Oh, it's this one, it's this one, it's this one! There's, yeah. Uh, how far uh, how far from the portal is the person standing? Uh, just far enough for a monologue. So, like, if I ran and dived through this, could I catch her unawares and knock her prone? 
<laughs> Most certainly not. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jesse. No, I'm just kidding. I love giving DMs their due. Uh, let's before we walk through here. Let's figure out a marching order so that you know vulnerable people aren't up front. Uh, I'll go first. I got a whole body's worth of you do. HP. <laughs> is there any prep we want to do before going in? I, this may not be Naron, uh, or may not be Melora. It could be the daughter that we got away. Um, so we may not want to burn everything. But if you have anything to prep before we go in there, now's the time. Oh, I will do the history oh. and activate my spider aura for my friends. Nice. Thirty feet. And that will be my bonus action until further notice. these nuts all right pretty small spell do you have anything else you want to uh, that's all I got. <laughs> hey i got what i got it's uh it's not my fault kayla are you concentrating on your walker shadow thingy you're muted oh no that that was uh that was a bonus action and done now i'm not in the um all right the so shadow walk so only Kurt has uh, inspiration, and he has his swordy thingy on, uh, and then uh, you are concentrating on your bonus action thingy. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, and I will begin concentration on unholy weapon, as I drag my uh, sword against the bones of the creature. Really quick, chop off a couple teeth to bring home to Barry. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and so I I have an hour concentration on. All right. Sounds good. You guys step through. Yep. Mm. Let the monologue begin. <laughs> Ooh, fun shape. All right. I'm going to arrange you guys as you need like that. That's probably what you were going for. You can, re you can rearrange as you need. But what you see before you is a smallish room in triangular sh like shape the ceiling of this arched chamber is 20 feet high near the entry but curves upward to a height of 50 feet by the time the room stops widening you can see beyond the entry is a green granite altar upon which is a raised coral platform that holds a uh, a light bladed weapon one for each of you minus the instrument the instrument too <laughs> that one's mine uh, behind the altar is a curved wall and from your inexperienced eyes it looks like a mix between mithril adamantine and cold iron. Melora looks to be praising the wall as she turns around slowly. There is nothing left for me to do other than welcome you to Neronius's heart. Her will alone has made possible this moment. For all your efforts, your agony, anger, and despair you have never held true power you have never been in control of your own fate you lack the will your efforts merely fuel my goddess's plans come feed her your souls is there anything you guys would like to say uh sperlina just uh, burps, but then accidentally fighter spark or fighter or spider farts and just like web shoots behind her. Oh I'm my god, I'm so <laughs> sorry. My uh, bad. <laughs> Delora reaches into her bag, pulls something out, and rolls it across the floor. And it is the please very, let it be the head, very much decaying head of Galgoli and her son. Yes. <laughs> Make an intimidation check. Can I assist? I want guidance. Not that I would be helpful, or yeah, can I? Whoop! Can I give guidance? 
uh, no, only I can give my. They're both touching. <laughs> no, away from from me. Me. Sorry. <laughs> Inspiration. Sorry, I'm a little tired today. The caffeine never really kicked in. <laughs> I'll take your inspiration. Oh, oh my God! Wow, <laughs> guys, or not? Uh, still twenty-three. Oh, back. Still twenty-three. Yeah, Elora, I feel like you got robbed so many times in today with the net ones on the D4, D8, D6. Almost. Oh yeah. Uh, with that intimidation, uh, let's see how she would respond. Not well, I'd presume. Eight. She looks at you, Alora, and just says, You will face my ire first, and I will make sure the rest of you see that I will not tolerate you. You will be the end of your party. The rest that... of you will watch as your head rolls on the floor. Oh, and we will make her with that happen all the time with her. What are you doing? Oh, so you did. <laughs> I'm gonna take a step in front of Sporlina, and I'm just gonna say, and we will make sure you cried as each of your children did when we severed them from their souls. I'm sorry. Would you? Souls. I, oh, I, I, I'm sorry. This is terribly. Would you prefer a cremation? Uh, fireball. Fireball. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what's happening. <laughs> Roll initiative. Uh, Off with your head. Dance till you fit. Head to the road. Oh no. Yeah, I heard you say that. was so psyched. <laughs> Do I go ahead and lead with the fireball or am I. Uh, hold on, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let me. Speed? Let me let me get in layer actions and other things first. Twenty, uh, and then let me also. Where is it? Where are the little ones? There they are. Uh, I just typed it out, but uh, hold hold the uh, the big stuff till after my turn, as in spells. Don't ask tell me to do. Yeah, don't tell them what to do. Man, Jesse, don't worry. I'm gonna make your job a little bit easier today. You, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you out. You so. had to banish fucking Barry. I had this whole I am Groot thing planned out where he was gonna die at the end of this <laughs> sacrifice. I'm sorry. I, it really was a roll. Like it was just, <laughs> just a roll. All right, let me get music going, and zoop, rolling, 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 scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Don't worry, Jesse. Cinemoira. I'm going to make your job easier today. All right. I would like to cast Shatter right in the middle of this area where I could hit as many of these little fuckers as I can. You are more than welcome to. All right. All right. Well, and what's the range on Shatter? 60. Oh, yeah. 10. Sorry. So 10, probably right there. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, and then these three will be out of it. So first things first. Dead and dead, because they are minions. And second thing second, Melora, and this is a constitution. Legendary edition, she can't take that six. All right, so 12 plus 11. Yeah, so that's a pass. Caster. She's going to be minus eight. You guys also notice, I should have mentioned, you guys notice that some pieces of the wall come off of the wall and begin floating around her head. They look like gemstones floating around her head. There are five of them, to be exact. All right, there's that, there's that. Cool. And that's that. All right, Sina, anything else? Um, that is it. All right. Uh, she is going to use a legendary action to cast a spell. Naronius' fangs. She's going this to fucking spell. launch. Yes, you knew that was coming. She's going to launch uh, Naronius' fangs. 
you can most certainly try. It's a ninth level. Okay, I will roll for it. Nineteen, so 19 or is what you need. What's your wisdom mo modifier rate? Uh, wisdom modifier. It's a five, I think. Okay. Yeah. So, so I'm nine. sorry. You said, okay, so I just roll a d20 plus five, right? Yep. yep. And you have inspiration. Oh wait, is that concentration? Never mind. It's concentration. Uh. What's going on? I don't know. What is going on? Sorry. Uh, plus the seventeen. Not enough. Everyone okay. is going to need to make a dexterity saving throw. And the DC is a twenty. Oh, oh my God. everyone! Wow. <laughs> I am going to. Can I use my inspiration to have Cinemoira reroll her deck saving throw? I think I'll allow it. Thank you. Plus That's five. 20. 20 is what you needed. Thank All you. Right. Here comes the wave of poison. So you guys see as the uh, spheres, uh, Noradis' fangs, come out and pierce your skin and burn it away. First, this is the poison damage. Uh, so this is. Uh, DC 20, if you got... Oh, Jesus Christ. That is a damn good roll. Uh, all right. Yeah. Wow. That's just the poison damage. Okay. And if you failed, you take 84 points of poison. Of course, make sure you deduct your resistances and all that. And then this is the slashing damage. And if you failed, take 84 plus 65. All right. Heritage spider. It's me, a spider Lena. Okay. All right. Fuck this bitch. How many times do you have to kill a bitch before they actually die? You know what I'm saying? Um. Wait. Sorry, did I, I missed. Did I take the? Did we take the 84, or is that only? I'm immune to poison, so it's okay. poison damage. So it's a, the second yeah, is slashing, though. Uh, Kaylor, did you roll a deck save? Yeah, I did pass. I just... I, you take I, half of 84, and then okay, you take half gotcha. of 65. So, a total of 42 and 32. Okay. 74. Yeah, 74 points of damage for Kaylor. All right. Wow. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, it's 150. Okay, so... I'm gonna cast this as far away as I possibly can from this. Yeah. And I'm gonna cast uh, Sunburst. Ooh. Uh, so I'm gonna need all those baddies to make a con saving throw. Doesn't matter. Those things are minions. They are going to go yeah. bye bye. <laughs> And then she is, what was it, Khan? Yes. Uh, this is a plus 11. Okay, so she passes. So she's not blinded, but she does take half damage still. Do, 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 do. She takes 39 radiant damage. Halved. Yeah, right? sorry. Yeah. Yes. Uh, she, is she undead? She no. is not undead, no. Okay, but she died and is now alive. Soul reborn by Neronius. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was that 18? I can't uh, do math, right? Yeah, that's 18. No, 19. 19? Okay. Yep. Um... And yeah, that's my turn. Oh wait, um, I forgot everybody has advantage on your saves because of my aura. So, oh, okay, so Dina would have gotten uh, oh, twenty-one, and back. Kurtz would have still gotten a twelve. Could, could I have used my inspiration for Kurtz then? 
Uh, Kurtz, roll dexterity save again. Plus five, plus five. So, if we... Cinna, regain uh, 72 points. 72? 74. Yeah, 74. Oh, I thought you took half damage for those, or it was a complete save. How much did you take from the damage? You take 84 plus 65? No, she still took half damage because she passed the second roll. She just went back to it. Got it. So adjust your hit points accordingly. Kurtz, sorry. <laughs> so I would have gone yeah. hit with everything? You still passed. No, because she gave, yeah, you still You, you still don't, don't adjust at all. Anything. You took the same amount of damage either way. All right. Yep, that's my turn. Elora. All right. Uh, I wanted inspiration for three natural one <laughs> dexterity saves one for each one in a row. <laughs> you get that inspiration, is... so that's exciting. It doesn't <laughs> stack, unfortunately. Damn it. Um. Okay. We're. Ah, yeah. I mean, area of effects not gonna really affect this bitch, so we're just gonna run up. Uh, by then, maybe by twenty-five, thirty. Are you still concentrating, or did you lose concentration? I lost concentration. Got it. <laughs> um. All right. We are going to spend an exertion point to dangerous strike. So credit on nineteen. We'll pray for something good. I believe in you. And I believe I can fly. Uh, I believe you can oh, eighteen. So us. close. I don't want to use my reaction just yet. So um, the twenty-four will not hit. Well, uh, Really? The yeah, remember rolls. you do also have advantage on attack rolls. Oh, cool. Okay, good to know. All right, we'll just take the one hit there. Uh, so 17, okay, cool. 17. We'll do a uh, tattoo on that. I regain 14, and spell slots looking like. I can definitely afford to toss a smite in there as well. And I'm shocked that she's not immune or resistant to necrotic, so she takes full damage here. Nice. Weird. Right? Um, bonus. I it at least resistant. That's what I thought. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. bonus section fifth level. And the thing is, do we have to fight Neronius after this bitch, or is she the fucking? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna recast holy weapon. That's my last that last fifth level weapon. Oh. I feel like Neronius is like, ew, I don't have time for this. <laughs> Concentration. Uh, yeah. Got it. Curtsy boy. I don't know if she's the final boss or not, but I kind of... Uh... I know, I'm having the same moment here. I know. That's called metagaming. <laughs> Well, no, it's not. Also, no. It could be her. There's a chance she could be the final boss, but it may not be her final form. Yeah. She's played a lot of video games. <laughs> Although he didn't well, make this technically. To be fair, it's not really meta gaming because we know we're in the plane of venom, so it'd be kind of like shit. Is this it, or are we like are we fighting the big one at the end of this? Uh, sorry, I'm just scrolling. Let's assume oh. there's always more. <laughs> oh. It's really God damn it. Uh okay. Um carrying myself. That's all I can do. That was your action and yeah. no bonus action? Health potions too. Uh it would be nice if I had any. You definitely no, have I a gave, drought of healing. I also gave out everybody got he or health potions at the beginning. I guess you guys could have drank them already. It has been a while, but <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I think we I may got through that. those before we started t touching on the drops of healing. Don't forget the drops of healing. I do not have one. Assume you do. We just picked up those five, so those would have been distributed. Oh. No. So you have one at least. All of you okay. have one. I would like to use that instead. All right. Uh, was it twenty d four plus twenty? It is, yes, 10d4 plus 20. 10d4 yeah. plus 20. We'll take the 20, though. Yeah. No. <laughs> sure. uh, oh, man. This is 20d4? No, 10d4. 10d4 plus 20. How many? 41? Yep. Yeah. All right, move on. I can deal with this. 
that that's it i can't get closer and that's an action to down a or is that a bonus bonus action, action. oh cool uh mm, 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 mm. but you already cure wounds so that's all you could do yeah all right make a con save please dc 15 Oh, you're fine. Uh, when Kurtz, I don't need it. You are up to how many? Uh, two. two. All right, so. write that down in the chat. Just type it in and just make sure we remember it. Uh, all right, cool, 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 cool. And yeah. now it is the lair action. Wave of Venom. Allura uh, looks to all of you, raises her hands, and she just says, And now we will see just how you do against the plane of Venom itself. I'm going to need you all to make con saves, DC 15. If you have drank a drought of healing, you have a minus however many droughts you've done. So Kurtz has a minus two, Kaylor has a minus two, the rest of you are a minus one. I'm using my inspiration. Every, hold on, everybody has advantage that's within the aura of the spider. Correct. So I, I see a save, save, I, save, save, save. I can't remember if I did or not. You have one, but you're still safe, so don't worry about it. Okay. Alora, uh, Melora does not seem impressed that you all just saved. Uh, yeah, she's like, oh, fuck you guys. <laughs> she is going to use a legendary action, and she is going to uh, cast Bane on all of you. I am going to use my reaction to do Break Spell. Uh, um, this is what I was saving it for. So I'm going to take a melee attack against. Uh, that'll Ooh. hit. Ooh! <laughs> we'll go ahead and put some tattoo in there and another level three smite. Nice roll. Thank now, you. does that do damage or does that negate it's, the spell? It, the melee attack, and then she needs to make a con save. So that's 40, 63 damage. I'm going to get 18 back. <laughs> and then she breaks spell. Uh, 16. 16 on her con? She rolled a 16. Yeah. That's, that's a fail. The spell is interrupted. And it expels the spell slot. And how much damage? 63, I think I said. Minus 63. Hot damn. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Kaylor, it is your turn. I'm okay. just going to say, I'm really quick, as I stab her, I'm going to be like, he did look so much like you. Oh, God. So I am going to blow eight of my sorcery points. Six is going to make me go into my umbral form. Here, that's my bonus at action, and then I am going to. Do I do the thing I can do now, or do I? Eh, eh. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go for the. Auto hitty one. We're gonna do the sphere of ultimate destruction next to her. All right. Hot damn. All right. Remind me what this does. It's just a sphere. It's in the range. It, it's a sphere. I can um, take an action to move it once per turn. Um, it's a five foot black sphere of doom that disintegrates everything anything that it touches um basically it's like that she gets hit by the disintegrate spell each time i ram it into her um nice and the um yeah and then so right now i can summon it into an unoccupied space five foot diameter sphere and then um it's a concentration one minute um the umbral form is also one minute um not a concentration class ability and then i can move it up to 30 feet moving it through people or things counts perhaps all right this this circle right here yep. uh go ahead she saved so go ahead and roll damage and she'll take half uh, i i i i don't have the act it's an action to move it separate from the spell i assume you cast it near her though yes but, she so, has to end her turn within five feet of it, though, or he gets it, to run again. Or, or, or has to enter her within five feet of it. It had, like so. Basically, next turn I can start chasing her around with. Her. Got it. Got it. Got it. Cool. Awesome. Anything else? That is it. All right. 
it is her turn. First things first, the minions come crawling out of the altar once more. Uh, next things next, she is going to regenerate 15 hit points. Plus 15. Third things third, she is going to cast uh, Bane again on all of you. And this time she's going to use a, a legendary resistance if Elora uses a reaction, which she didn't because she already used a reaction. So Bane on all of you, go ahead and make a uh, charisma saving throw, DC 20. Save, 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 save. Just waiting for Spider. Sorry. Choo, 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 choo. Oh, sorry. I'm actually, Kaylor and Kurt. Oh, Kurt says Kaylor is not, but he needed. Twenty-two. Okay. Nice. All, right. All saves. All saves. Uh, the poison nagas are gonna come, and uh, I'm gonna say four against Kurtz, and then six against uh, Elora. So first four, one, two, three, four. And they're going to surround you, so that's going to be with advantage. 17, uh, 20, 21? Uh, 20 to 21 hit. All right, so uh, take 6 and 10, 16 piercing, and then make con saves twice, DC 15, or take the poison damage, or half as much on a save. So con that's saves. 8 plus 4 is 12. Really quick, con Jesse, saves. she took 15 more damage. I forgot about my holy weapon. Uh, 15 more damage, got it. Minus 15, which just negated her regeneration. You saved, so you're going to take half damage. That's going to be uh, another six poison damage for Kurtz on top of the 16 piercing. And then here comes uh, Elora. So six on Elora. One, two, three, four, five, six. And they're going to surround you with advantage and uh, just rolling up. This looks like two mists. All right. And then you're immune to poison. I'm resistant, so I'll count it up. Don't worry about it. All right, cool, 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 cool. And those are going to be the Poison Nagas. And Stina, back to you. Um, let's see. And then I'm going to hit her with a Witch Bolt. No surprise there. 22 will not hit, but you are still concentrating. God damn it. It's okay, you All still right. got it. Anything else? That's it. All right. At the end of her turn, she is going to... Uh, she's going to cast gen Degenerate. Uh, degenerate? Degenerate? Yeah, I think so. Uh, she's going to touch Elora. Uh, you must make a con save, Elora. And that's a natural 20? That's a natural 20, buddy. All right. It's 8d8 halved. Uh, it is not a... It's not necrotic. It's not anything. It's just damage that you reduce your hit points by. Damage and reduce hit points or re just reduces hit point? Uh, just damage. Sorry. Damage. 43, 43 damage. Halved, right? Halved, yes. Sorry. And that's going to be her turn. So now you already went. Heritage Spire. Okay. Um. Yeah. Orlina is going to look at her two especially squishy friends. Uh, and realize that there is a lot of injured in our party, actually. Um, I am going to cast a uh, master wound. All right. <laughs> Laura, you may start rolling. Okay. Oh my god, it actually let me choose. How nice of that. Uh, uh, 24 HP to everyone. Oh, buddy. Oh, boy. Do I actually dice her head, out, head head off? 
Uh, she is a legendary creature. Okay. <laughs> uh, so plus five, plus another six. But you can plus smite five. that. I will definitely slay I'm just counting up the crit damage real quick. Uh, Everybody get 24 points of healing, please. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you so much. <laughs> Uh, Spider Venus just like jamming, just like in the center, making sure everybody is in her aura and healing. Pew, pew. Yeah, that's 121 damage. All oh, right, I regain 30. All right, regain your 30. All right. Anything else? Uh, that's two hits. Um, and yep, that'll be my turn. You guys watch as Alora stabs her straight through the chest as she coughs up blood and begins looking at Alora's eyes and looks back down at her son's head still on the floor. She just smiles as she says, By the shadowed embrace of Neronius, goddess of the eternal night, grant me now the power of the eclipse, radiant and divine. Through the merging of darkness and light, I ascend to celestial heights. From drow to angelic form, I transformation divine. Grant me wings of ebony, shimmering with lunar glow. Grant me strength unmatched and power beyond mortal ken. I am the chosen vessel, the embodiment of your might. Eclipse angel I become uh, as no, darkness I... turns to the blinding light. Now unleash the fury of the eclipse and let chaos reign. And you guys yeah, watch. Did she say radiant? <laughs> <laughs> you guys watch as she transforms the wings sprout from her back she emerges uh and what wasn't there before a massive um uh what looks to be flail comes out of her uh out of thin air and her body begins to stretch the strength behind her is immense as elora you see she just shoves the sword back out of her and it instantly heals angel and this is what you see hey jesse i have a quick question yes. oh you you big ugly now is this because of her co uh connection to neronius as uh, a, a paladin cleric whatever relationship indeed sure oh, okay <laughs> Okay. Why you thinking you're gonna do this when you're level thirty? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Something oh, better. God. No, I'm yeah. curious. <laughs> oh, you're gonna. Yeah. It's my turn. All right, hold on. Pause. 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 Uh, no, I'm... no, no. <laughs> you guys watch as the uh, the room around you begins to collapse. The walls fall down, and pieces of the uh, building around you. Uh, just completely collapse, and the, the the sides like get closer and closer. And you guys watch as this eclipse angel begins to take hovering flight. And I am going to move you guys over here, and she is going to uh, rise a little bit above you. As you guys now see the entirety of this island rise above the sea of venom, and you can see off into the distance the island that you guys once were on. As she looks down upon you. And the stone so, is floating above now her head. reverse gravity. <laughs> <laughs> there is no ceiling above her, if that helps. Gravity, it brings her down. And this is... I'm just going to get her health in there. Her real health. Her true oh, health. Say that. All right. Oh, I didn't even take into account the mask here. Yeah, make sure you get that. All right, Kurtz, it is your turn. Well, we talked about this plan earlier, Jesse. Mm -hmm. I now have a different idea. Oh. And I like it a lot better. 
Okay. Oh, you uh -oh. go for it, dude. Divine intervention, which is now successful, immediately. Mm -hmm. Sunder Maelor's connection to Neronius. Something where God can do? My God can sure fucking try. <laughs> All right. You guys watch as Kurtz grabs his uh, pendant. And as he does, uh, he makes this divine intervention wish upon his uh, deity. And you guys can feel a rumble from beneath you. Uh, even more so when the uh, island came up from the Sea of Venom. And you guys then watch and see a blinding light hit Melora. And as it hits Melora, you can see that there is some sort of a, a divine chain that was shackling her uh, arms and legs. And they shatter immediately. As the divine uh, washes away from the uh, Eclipse Angel, you guys watch as Elora, Melora, sorry, um, just shouts out, and her regenerative abilities are no more. Oh, so sad. And so I'm going to dead. mark her just so I don't forget that her regenerative abilities are, in fact, gone. Does this make her basically an anti-paladin? <laughs> she is still powerful. She is still ready to attack and hurt you, but yeah, no. she is no longer going to heal. Uh, okay. What's the turn order now? Because yeah, I have it, can't and I will, it. I'll, okay. I'll get it to you guys. Uh, it's Kurtz, anything after you? Kurtz, anything else? Um, This is going to... I know the answer to this is going to be no, but I still have to ask. Uh, does that count as an attack? That's an action. Yes, but it negates something. Does it count as an attack? No. Okay. That's it, then. All right. So, Melora is going to use her lair action as she uh, says... Come, my beasts. Come, rise above. Assist me. Defeat these insolent fools. You guys watch as more rumblings occur. As two seed weeds rise <laughs> from the sea, 50 feet tall with tendrils 50 feet long. And Melora continues to summon uh, a creature over in the other island as she says, be more useful to me this time around than you were last time. Hopefully I will not cut out your tongue. As oh no, is it, is it the giant that loves her? It is this dragon. Uh... Now forms from bone and materializes from the um, acidic mist. And that is what happens on her lair action. Kalor, I don't it is your that turn. Dragon. Fear of doom, go burr. Um, <laughs> I'm going to ram it down uh, to this snake and then through her <laughs> and land on this little is corner. It, is, it, is it the dragon you tried to have sex with? No, <laughs> this is dragon was literally on with the dire, the ones that you banished, the the dire uh, reptiles or uh, velociraptors. Oh. It was literally oh. that island. Oh, so it was a skeleton, yes. not like the... Uh... It was a skeleton, yeah. This is. It, this it is... wasn't something we previously fought. Like no, it was just a giant oh. skeleton that Alora took a few teeth out of. I like the idea of it, like, missing its two front teeth. <laughs> yeah, it probably is. <laughs> it disadvantaged to bite attacks, Jesse? Disadvantage? No. Minus a d6? Yes. Nice. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> all right. All uh, Eclipse Angel. Oh, wait. Um, sorry, that's the wrong damage. Uh, this this is the right one. <laughs> all right. She nice. got a natural 20. All right. So she'll take half of that then. All right. Minus, uh, what is that? 34? Yeah. 
All right. Anything else? Oh wait. Was I right the first? When's how many d6s did I roll? Sixteen d6s versus. Okay, there 10 should d6. be there should be two more d6s. All right, roll another two more, and I'll take half of that. Five. All right, cool. Anything else? All right. Um, that is my action. I am going to um go a little bit further away from the big scary beasties. All right. Melora's turn. Before she takes flight, she is going to multi-attack and make four attacks on Elora herself. Oh. 32. She comes down with her scourge of uh, flail, and she is going to bash you as best she can with 25 and 27. Yep, uh, the 19 misses, but the other was... Please make constitution saving throws, DC 15. Uh, sorry, really quick. 30, yep. 41, 48, 72. All oh, right. shit, I took Please. an extra 32. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll figure that out later. Three cons, DC 15, minus the amount of drops of healing that you've taken. Uh, minus All right. one. So you are safe, uh, you are good to go, and you are not exhausted. And Senna, at the beginning of your turn, I think that's a good place for us to call it a night. Okay. <laughs> no, it's not stressful. It's totally fine. Everything's fine. It's <laughs> fine. I'm not crying. I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, before the, the turn ends, Melora is going to come fly upwards. Uh, actually, she's just going to go straight upwards. So, Elora, you may take an attack of opportunity if you so desire. I'm not crying. I'm laughing. And I'm just going to write she is 30 feet. Uh, 31. That'll definitely hit. Uh, 52 damage. Minus 52. Beautiful. Okay. And the spear should be, well, I guess now underneath her, which would mean she would be just in range. Got it. So she All takes right. that damage at the end of her turn. Um, it's whenever I ram it into her that she takes it. I, she <laughs> ends, yeah. so if she next... ends her turn within five feet of it, I believe it also takes damage. Let me she didn't check. end her. She didn't end it within five feet. She ran, She flew away thirty feet. Uh, that's yeah, what I, I thought. Taylor to... said that he it was going to be right next. To her. That's why I was. Oh uh, well, like because I, I ended it right next to her and then she flew up on her turn. So then. That would mean that, but it was, but it has a movement range of 30 feet, okay. so she'd still so be in range get for get her next turn. Gotcha. All right. And I think that is a good place for us to end for tonight. Beautiful. As you guys enter the final <laughs> battle. Way to make my penis go into my stomach uh, right at the very end here, Jess. <laughs> is that a good uh, thing? I don't know. Is that pleasurable for you? Is going to do everything in her power to make that dragon her friend. <laughs> you most certainly can try. Jesse, you haven't given me a single friend. I'm level 20 druid, didn't not a single fucking friend have you let me have. Didn't you I were... give you like the Bulbasaur thing? No. And then we crossed like a group of them and it ran off with them. Oh yeah, you did a poor poor uh, animal handling check. No, I didn't, you bitch. <laughs> they were just like, <laughs> Come join us, we have beer and hookers. Yeah. This thing you met. Oh my god. Yeah, and she rolled yeah. well, and then it just fucked off. Yeah. Yeah, so I think we all get to free heal because of that, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, I good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.